Hey, 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 all right, go ahead and pull out Ecosystem Part 2, and this will be pretty painless. Okay, so the first thing we're looking at is the water cycle, which you probably learned um, in some other science classes. So we're going to kind of fly through this one. Uh, first thing, we'll start over here with transpiration. So water is going up. Okay, so right here, water, I'm sorry, evaporation, right there. So water's going up. Okay, one thing I do want you to know about the water cycle is transpiration is water evaporating from trees or from plants. Okay, so evaporation and transpiration. Okay, then the water is going to, and it's actually right here too, evaporation from the ponds, and then maybe that's transpiration. Okay, and then it's going to condensate up in the clouds. That's condensation. And then it's going to precipitate back down. So you want to know precipitation is rain or snow, anything in the form of water coming down. Okay, so that's the water cycle. Um, you want to know that the water cycle is driven by the sun. So the sun is what makes it work. The sun causes evaporation and then, um, you know, precipitation, of course. So uh, sun is greatest at the equator. Water is greatest at the equator. Okay, the next thing we're looking at is the carbon cycle. Okay, before we even look at the picture, remember that we do cellular respiration, and that's where we breathe out CO2. Plants do photosynthesis, and that's where they breathe in CO2 to make sugar. Okay, so animals do cell respiration. Animals do cell respiration. Breathe out CO2, so that's why it's coming out. Plants do photosynthesis, so that's why CO2 is going in. And then... Also, burning anything, burning wood, burning uh, gas in your car, burning of fossil fuels releases CO2. The burning of fossil fuels releases CO2. Okay, decomposing animals and plants releases CO2. Okay, so releases CO2 is going to be fossil fuels, decomposition, animals, what takes in CO2 is going to be autotrophs or plants. Autotrophs take in CO2 and make sugar. And that is the carbon cycle. Okay, nitrogen cycle. Probably the hardest one. And actually, I'm going to draw it out for you. Okay, so flip over your paper and let's draw this one. Because in my opinion, it's harder. Okay, so we got a tree, and it would be most appropriate if I did this right. Let's put the tree in the middle. So we got our tree. Okay, so most of the nitrogen on the planet is in the air in the form of nitrogen gas. Now, that's no good to us. We breathe in nitrogen gas, we breathe it out. The oxygen, I'm sorry, the nitrogen in the air is of no good to us. So there's some bacteria that take this nitrogen gas and they make it into NH4. They, they really, they eat the nitrogen gas and that's what they excrete as waste. So they excrete as waste, um, this NH4. So it says in your notes, uh, the majority of the nitrogen is removed by the air. So that's what we've drawn. Remember that, you know, it comes down with rain as, as the universal solvent, the water. And then bacteria, nitrogen fixing bacteria, convert it into, you see it in your notes, ammonium. So this is nitrogen gas into ammonium. And that M didn't get its hump. Okay. This is important. This is the big important part. This is going to be nitrogen fixing bacteria. So let's see. 
Okay, so this is important. Nitrogen fixing bacteria take the N2 and make the ammonium or the NH4. Now, the NH4 is absorbed by plants, and that helps plants make proteins. and DNA. So, so what far what we've got drawn is the most important part. So make sure, pause the video and go back over this and look at it. Nitrogen fixing bacteria absorb the nitrogen in the gas form and they excrete ammonium which plants can use to make proteins and DNA. Now, in your notes it says this process is called nitrogen fixation. The ammonium can then be absorbed by plants some ammonium doesn't get absorbed. Okay, so here's where it gets tricky. Some of the ammonium right here that doesn't go into the plant, so normally it goes into the plant right here. Right? Normally that's what happens. Well, some of it doesn't, so we're going with blue now, and it's converted, and you don't have to make those lines twist, it just happened that mine did. The NH4 is converted into NO2 nitrite and then NO3 nitrate. Okay, nitrite and nitrate. Okay, nitrite is not able to be used by plants, but nitrate is. And so we'll go back with purple here. Nitrate can also be absorbed. What isn't absorbed goes back into nitrogen gas, and that's called denitrification. And this part was called nitrifying. Okay, so what two forms can plants take up? They can take in ammonium and they can take up nitrate. Okay, so pause the video and study this one for a second because this one is hard. And you do want to know some key things that bacteria and DNA are what the plant need it for. You too, that's what you need it for too. And that bacteria are doing this whole thing. So where the sun drives the water cycle, bacteria drive the nitrogen cycle. So pause the video, get it down pat. Okay, the phosphorus cycle, which I would go as far as to say this one is the easiest. All it is is that rocks are weathering and that's putting phosphorus into the soil. Plants absorb the phosphorus and they use it. And so this one is just all about rocks. Rocks uh, weather into the soil. That's what it says in your notes. The phosphorus is, in, is initially in rock. It, the rocks weather over time. The phosphorus makes its way into the water. So it's, a, it's available for producers like plants and algae. And then we are going to eat it so that we can do, so we can make phospholipids, DNA, and ATP. Um, so we need phosphorus for phospholipids, DNA, and even ATP. So the phosphorus cycle, you want to make sure you know why we need it, and you want to make sure you know about rocks. Okay, and then the last thing, um, how does temperature affect these cycling rates? The higher the temperature, the, the faster all these cycles can go, such as in the rainforest. The lower the temperature then it's going to be slower, like in the tundra. And so, um, take a minute and look at all these cycles again. Make sure you got them down pat. And I hope this was helpful.